Last but not least, problem four. Jimmy wants to tile part of his basement. The part he wants to tile in shaded below. The tiles he will use are one square foot. So again, we're looking at the area of this shaded figure. I'm gonna zoom in for a better look just cause it's kind of hard to see. Um, and again, I'm gonna use a formula to find the area. I'm gonna figure out what the length and the width are. So I see three feet here and I can mark that here. One, two, three, and now I'm gonna count up the sides to figure out this side length. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's seven feet. Um, and you can see that I'm counting these little squares here. How many units? Um, to figure out that space. So one, two, three. Um, so my formula I would write, let me get a different color so it's easier to see, is three times seven equals what? That's what I wanna figure out. Um, and I can skip count by threes. I know my three song and I know that there's three across. So three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 18, 21. So three groups of seven groups of three equals 21. Um, so I counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So seven times three is 21. Um, but I know I'm not done yet because I'm talking about square feet and I need to write a full sentence. So Jimmy. I'm going to write, Jim needs 21. Oh, I made a mistake, 21 tiles, because this is how many tiles does he need? And it says Jim needs 21 tiles, um, and that's important. So we're not really talking about square units. We're talking about the tile. So one tile goes in each box. Um, and if you need a visual, this can help. Um, just to draw the line so you can really see each tile. But again, it gets messy because this looks like four and it's not. So using multiplication is just the most efficient strategy, truly.